cleanup begins for thousands across the city of Gaylord. Homes and businesses now destroyed by the powerful twister. Tim Pamplin is live in Gaylord for us all morning. And Tim, the community really coming together here to help each other through this tragedy. They really are, Grant. You heard the Lieutenant Governor say that people are coming in from across the state, volunteers to help, and that is much needed. Semi-trailers flipped over, shipping containers just dropped where the winds took them. Of course, with 150 mile an hour winds bowling through here, cars didn't stand a chance. It might sound cliche, but it looks like something out of a movie. Upturned cars, snapped power lines. Absolute devastation as you hop on M32 at I-75 heading through Gaylord. That was an oil chain shop, collapsed as the walls gave way. This is Main Street, but behind me is a mobile home park, and the scene there is simply horrific. Out of the mobile home park, there is probably 95% destruction in there. It was the first community to get hit when the twister touched down Friday evening. And unfortunately, we found another deceased person early this morning, shortly after 1 a.m. in the Nottingham Mobile Home Park. From Drone 4, you can see a couple of investigators down there in their yellow coats searching for more victims. Back in the commercial district, it's time to start the cleanup. Destroyed cars litter the parking lot of the plaza. Over at the Little Caesars, pizza's still sitting in the oven from the day before. Massive rooftop air conditioners blowed off. The roof ripped away. We're up here to assess damage, see what support we can provide. Former Troy firefighter Tom Kamek now works for Jarvis. Property restoration. They just want to help any way they can. Just lend support and, and our prayers. Yeah, this community needs a lot of prayers, a lot of help. Absolute devastation. You see the OK on the side of that vehicle means it's been searched, cleared.